name is Deanne, and I'm the Executive Director with York Region's Rose of Sharon Services for Young Mothers. We have continued to provide our essential services throughout the pandemic as babies continue to grow and prenatal and parenting young mothers still need our support. In late November, we were contacted by Olivia, a young mother who was single, pregnant and facing eviction. A pregnant mother has enough worries and stresses during a pandemic, but also facing eviction is an awful position for anyone to be in. Olivia was very upset when she contacted us. Her baby was due in December and soon she wouldn't have any place to live. Staff spent the time with her, speaking with her, comforting her and reassuring her. Three staff went to work. They packed enough food to last her a month, fresh fruit, vegetables, milk, eggs, cheese, meats, and shelf-safe foods from our donated foods in our food bank. Staff also went into our Rosie's closet to look for items all kindly donated by the public. They packed a baby bunting bag to keep baby warm when he would be coming home from the hospital, newborn diapers, and other baby essentials every new infant needs. The food and clothing were delivered directly to her door by staff that same day. All the while, thinking of Olivia and how to help replace her worries with hope. Staff weren't done yet. They offered to connect with a realtor we work with, offering to make arrangements to take her to new locations to help her find a place she could afford to rent. And she was signed up for our services to receive counseling and to be part of our food delivery program. All at no cost. At her apartment door, staff shared Olivia burst into tears. She cried, but this time it was hope, not worry. She was so grateful to know we were there and would be helping her during her pregnancy and also after. Olivia welcomed a beautiful baby boy. There is no cost to our young mothers because of the generosity of those who support Share Life. Thank you for giving generously. Without Share Life, where would Olivia be?